Hello and welcome everybody to another Outlaws of Thunder Junction draft. I'm Paul Chion and we are currently sitting at, so the queues are a little bit wonky. We did go up a rank, so we are now Platinum 3. The road to rank 1 is slow and steady, but hey, let's enjoy the journey along the way. Um, we've had a bit of a rough start so far, a couple of 3-3s three and a 4-3, so nothing spectacular just yet, as I still try to kind of figure out what exactly it is I want to do in this format. But hey, we have plenty of time and we're all still learning together. Watch my mistakes and learn from that as well. You can still learn when I do poorly. Before this draft starts, I did want to say that if you've enjoyed this content and wanted to support this channel in another way, I launched my Patreon channel. The Patreon channel is the best way to support this channel outside of, of course, hitting that subscribe button. The link to the Patreon is in the description below. Shout out to all the current patrons. Thank you so much for your support. Your support definitely makes it so that I can continue making this content. All right. Gems locked in. Slot locked in. Sick rare? Can we lock it in? All right. We have a mythic rare. Sadly, this is not the mythic rare that you want. Force of Vigor is basically just a super disenchant effect that's a... Maybe a good sideboard card, but not something that I want. But this rare is something that I'm interested in. Vadmir New Blood. Two mana for a 2-2 legendary creature. When you commit a crime, put a plus one, plus one counter on Vadmir. You only trigger this once each turn. As long as Vadmir has four or more plus one, plus one counters on it, it has Menace and Lifelink. So two mana, 2-2 two, two that grows? Sign me up. But this pack is great. We have Scorching Shot, which is just a really solid removal spell. Two mana, deal five damage or something. Betrayal at the Vault's okay. It's a six mana kill two things, but of course your creature needs to survive. Rambling Possum is a very solid saddle creature. So that's also something to consider if you want it to be green. This is just really solid. It's a three mana, three, three that attacks as a four or five. And you can even get some value if you bounce something that actually cares about being bounced. The rest of the commons are mediocre. Spinewood's Paladin is an okay beater, but we're going to take the Vadmir. And we're going to try to end up in maybe a, some some kind of a color combination that can fully take advantage of the Vadmir, like maybe like a blue-black control deck, but it's still early. Uh, of course, I'm just going to try my best to read the signals, something I haven't been doing very well recently. All right, next pack, Requisition Raid. Disenchant, uh, or put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature target player controls. Sure, that's okay. Slickshot Lockpicker, I love this card. Three mana for a 2-3 ETB, you can basically cast a spell from your graveyard for free, instant or sorcery. The best part about this is you can plot it. So it's a lot easier to do that. You plot this, then later when you cast a spell, you can play this. Another Betrayer at the Vault, Betrayal at the Vault, and then some decent comments. I would say the best common here is Hard Bristle Bandit, very, very good. And Irascible Wolverine, also very solid. But I think I want to set myself up and draft a nice blue-black control deck. This format definitely seems a little bit on the slower side, at least so far. So let's take the uh, Slickshot Lockpicker here and hope to draft a sweet blue-black crime-committing control deck. I am in for Are you in for it? I'm in for it. All right. Moving on to this pack. We have Clear Shot, which is... A fantastic removal spell. Probably going to be the best card here. There's also Mystical Tether, which is also a fantastic removal spell to go along with uh, Take the Fall, which is just a, a nice, a really nice card to go with something like a Vadmir. Now, keep in mind, Vadmir was our first pick, right? So it's possible that we don't end up drafting a deck around the Vadmir. So I'm going to try to keep my options very open. And I feel like the best card by far here is the Clear Shot. I do like Clear Shot more than Mystical Tether. Um, and so I think I'm going to take this here because we could even end up in some kind of a Soul Tide deck if green has enough mana fixing and splash the Slick Shot Lock Picker, for example. Um, if it wasn't for the Clear Shot, the Tether is also the other best card of that pack. But let's take the Clear Shot here. And um, like I said... Try to read the signals and see where we end up. All right. Uh, moving on to this pack, Gear Ed is pretty cool, but it's really hard to cast. I don't want to take black, blue, green, red, white. So I don't want to take that. Cactus Folk Sure Shot is a very, very nice signpost uncommon. Four mana, four, four for a reach ward two. At the beginning of combat, creatures you control with power four, greater gain trample and haste until end of turn. That's pretty nice. The commons are pretty mediocre. Mirage Mesa is a de decent mana fixer. There's Geyser Drake, but I'm taking Rictus Robber. This card is awesome. Four mana, four, four, three. When Rictus Robber enters a battlefield, if a creature died this turn, create a two, two zombie token. 
you plot it for three mana as well. So it's really easy to just set up a situation. If you have removal, you, you plot this, you kill something, and then for three mana, you get a 4-3 and a 2-2. Two, two. That's super, super good. So very, very happy with the Rictus Robber out of that pack. And uh, let's move on. We could be green, black, splash, blue. Uh, who knows? All right, next pack, we have... Back for more. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. When you do, it fights up to one target creature you don't control. It's also an instant. So that's really interesting. Uh, Plan the Heist is just a card draw effect. I'm not too interested in taking that early. There's Slickshot Vault Buster, which is a crime payoff card, which can be interesting. And then there's also Mourner Surprise. This is just kind of a, a, a nice value spell. Get something back from your graveyard to your hand and you make a mercenary token. So what do I want to take here? I want to try this back for more card. <laughs> I'm going to take this and, and see if it's something that it's, that's, that's worth playing. It's cool with the Slickshot Lockpicker. Uh, if I'm playing a good self mill deck, maybe it can be good. So anyways, I'm going to take another Slickshot lock, slick Lockpicker. I do like this town ain't big enough as well, but I do think the Lockpicker is a better card uh, as long as I just make sure that I get enough good, cheap, efficient removal. Moving on to this pack... I mean, there is a Rictus Robber, but not seeing that much black. There is a Throw from the Saddle, which is basically one of the best green commons. So I guess I'm going to take that here and just kind of see where things go. Are we green, black? Are we bl blue? Who knows? We'll figure it out as we go. Um, I wonder if just like deserts that don't... Like, I don't care about the red mana, but I wonder if this is just good to play just to commit a robbery. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm still trying to figure out my colors. I think Lone Shark is probably more what we want in this type of deck. Um, I think we're good, like we're looking to be like a green black, maybe maybe a blue green deck. I mean, it, we can go any different direction. So let's take the Lone Shark here just to make sure that we can end up with uh, the proper number of playables here. We have kind of cards in all colors. Uh, Boneyard Desecrator is nice in the black white deck, but I don't know how good it is in this type of deck. Snakeskin Veil is a decent combat trick. I could take that. I, I guess I'm going to take that over the Betrayal at the Vault. I'm not a big fan of the uh, Silver Deputy. So let's take the Snakeskin Veil as a potential combat trick and kind of move on from there. All right, fine. I'll take a Betrayal at the Vault. We'll see what happens. Oh, take the, vault, take the Fall. I love this card. So we'll take that. Now, Black is a little... Black was kind of weird in this pack, right? Because... We first picked Badmir. We saw Rictus Robber. But people might still just look at this and not be entirely sure how good that card is. So black might be the color that's not open. We'll see. And there's a back for more, but this is certainly a splashable card. All right, so let's uh, clean our deck up just a little bit here. And do something like that. So could use some cheap things to do. We have lots of expensive cards. We have Throw from the Saddle and Clear Chat uh, as solid removal spells. And uh, we might want to set up for uh, potentially back for more. Uh, but it doesn't feel like black is especially open. All right. So let's say we're blue-green. What do we want out of this pack? Certainly need cheap things to do. We might want to splash. Essence Capture is decent. But double blue is pretty hard. Especially if I might potentially splash here. Um... I don't really want to take Bristle Pack Sentry this early. Also, I don't think it's going to attack very well in blue green, or at least with the creatures that we have so far. Fibble Thip is a nice slow way to get card of it. You know, given that I don't know where I want to be. Oh, Hell to Pay. That's interesting. No, that's just a random removal. I'm going to take Mirage Mesa. I think this is just a really solid mana fixer, and um, it might be something that we're interested in. The Slick Shot, excuse me, the Vault Buster is also pretty nice from, with Throw from the Saddle, just because um, when you fight, it, this becomes a 3-4, and then this turns it into a 4-5. or five. All right, moving into this pack, there's Vanishing Burst, which is a very, very good removal spell. Most cards in this set are um, monocolored, so that's something to consider, but I think I'm just going to take the Spinewoods Armadillo. Let's lock ourselves into green. Green definitely seems to be where we need to be. Uh, still unsure on the second color. I think it's going to be the blue, though, given that we got both Slickshot Lockpickers and some Geyser Drakes pretty late. And uh, take things from there. All right, what is this? Hostile Investigator. Four mana for a 4-3. ETB, target opponent discards a card. Whenever one or more players discards 
Whenever one or more players discard one or more cards, investigate this ability. I mean, this card seems awesome, right? I mean, I do like the patient naturalist. It's a three mana two three that mills and gets you a land. But I mean, f to splash this card seems great. I could still be green black. Like my blue cards aren't insane, right? And this is a, a this is a three for one ETB. They discard a card and you draw a card, and then like even this is like discarding a card. So yeah, let's take hostile investigator out of this pack and see where things go. I'm kind of all over the place here with my cards though. Here I'm gonna take Shoot the Sheriff, seems incredible here, especially with double slick shot lock picker. Uh, Satoru is also quite nice, but this is still something that's splashable potentially. I might just be straight three colors. There's also Journey to Nowhere, so a lot of good options here. I'm really happy about the Mirage Mesa just because of the uh, color requirements that this, that this deck's gonna need. Oh, another shoot the sheriff? Sign me up. I mean, I like Vault Plunderer. I like the Stable Master as well, but shoot the sheriff is just premium removal, uh, especially in a deck that's looking to commit a lot of crime. Is our green even that good? Like we saw like a, we got the clear shot and a throw from the saddle and an armadillo, but the rest is kind of medium. Maybe we end up back in blue black. We'll see. Kind of all over the place, but I do like this blue black shell, I will say. Like, let's say we go back into blue black. Now, like I said, black didn't seem especially open, but uh, <laughs> here we are. Uh, Detention Sphere. That's an interesting removal spell. Uh, what do we have here? A bunch of green cards. These green cards aren't that exciting. We're blue, black, possibly green. None of these green cards are things that I want. Do we want to just take like Detention Sphere if we want to potentially splash white just as a removal spell? We could. And this does have the possibility of just randomly nabbing other things. So I'll take Detention Sphere. This pack just has nothing really for us, honestly. All right, moving on here, we have... Okay, so this is a pretty big pick. Binding Negotiation is fine. Patient Naturalist is nice. So it's a choice between Rictus Robber and Patient Naturalist. I think I'm going to take the Robber. It goes really well with the double shoot to Sheriff. That also, this also works well if you just trade with your creatures as well. So let's take the Rictus Robber out of this pack. I do... Th I mean, maybe I'm overvaluing this. Is this card just not good? I don't know. It seems great to me. Here we have patient, another Patient Naturalist or a Geyser Drake. All right. Let's make an executive decision here. Let's just lock ourselves in. I do think green could have also been an option, option rather, but I think Geyser Drake is pretty strong. So let's just, um, I just can't waffle forever, right? I cannot waffle forever. So let's just lock this in. Gem is okay, but I'm fine with Mourner Surprise here as well. And um, let's just play this deck. I'll take a Gin of Fool's Fall just as a random finisher that flies. I do like Skullduggery as a combat trick and also as a way to commit crime. I'm not as big on fake your own death, and this is what we have for now. All right, so blue-black. Looking, looking for some more twos here. We do have a couple of Shoot the Sheriffs as well. Um, Mourner Surprise is really nice with Slickshot Lockpicker. I do like that uh, combination, so. Oh, what do we have here? Brazen Borrower. That card seems awesome. There, oh, a lot of good options here for us. There's also a gold vein Hydra. Enters a battlefield with X plus one plus one counters. When it dies, create a number of X tokens. Okay. I think it's Brazen Borrower. Unfortunate Accident is also pretty good. But I think I like the Brazen Borrower here. Hydra is also really nice. Unfortunate Accident also murder in this pack. This pack is kind of loaded. But um, I'm just going to try to commit myself at this point to the, um, the blue-black deck here. Whole oh, fractured identity though. I'm taking that. We're gonna figure out a way to play this card. Oh my, can you imagine with the lock pickers? We have a Mesa. We have a Mesa. All right. So there's a fractured identity. One of the I mean, fractured identity is a complete bomb. And uh let's take the detention sphere here as well and see if we can find a way to splash white. But I am really, really happy with that. Moving on to this pack here. There's another Rictus robber. There's a Lively Dirge, which I'm not a huge fan of. Voidrend is another card I could take, but I just don't want to necessarily take infinite white cards if I can help it. So I'm just going to take the Rictus Robber because I am high on the card, and hopefully it ends up being as good as I think it is.
Yeah, but this looks really, really solid. I guess I don't have to play the Jin here. Really would like to find another way to um, uh, generate white mana here. Moving on, we have Gem, which I don't really want to splash. There's Metamorphic Blast, which is a way to commit crime and draw some cards. Do I really want another Lone Shark? I don't think so. Ambush Gigapede. I mean, maybe Rooftop Assassin is okay? With the Geyser Drake? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think Lone Shark's just going to be better in a lot of instances. Let's take the Lone Shark. All right, I do need a two drop. Oh, there's a Tyrant Scorn though. Tyrant Scorn is pretty awesome. Just as a way to be able to commit a crime and kill something early. So I think I want Tyrant Scorn over the Canyon Crab, especially because I have double slick shot lock picker. I feel like I should just prioritize the cheap removal spell when I can um, when I can help it. Here we have um, Jailbreak Scheme and Mourner Surprise, but now is the perfect time to take Mirage Mesa number two so that we can play the Detention Sphere and Fractured Identity. So very, very happy with the Mirage Mesa pickup because now we can play like one, maybe two planes and get away with that. Make Your Own Luck is awesome. I really like this card, but it's... I, I just don't want to splash that. I also don't want to splash Fierce Retribution. There's Razzle Dazzler and Forsaken Miner. I don't like this in a control deck. So I guess I'll take the Razzle Dazzler in case I'm able to cast multiple spells in a turn. It's also a, just a two-mana card, but we'll see. It's just... It, I'd rather just have a more defensively oriented card. And here I'm going to slam Servant of the Stinger. This card's awesome. Two mana for a 1-3 Death Touch. And when I deal combat damage to a player... If I've committed a crime, I can sack this to Demonic Tutor. So really love this card. Phantom Interference is also nice. I do like the card. I, I will, will note that I'm a little bit lower on the card than I used to be because of the fact that... Um, because of the fact that I think um, uh, people can play around it with plot. I do like Geyser Drake, so I'm just going to take another copy. I'll take Stop Cold, although I don't think I'm going to play it. Oh, I do like Mourner Surprise. Happy with a second copy here. So we got to cut a card out of what we have here so far, but I'm liking the setup. Ooh, wow. Frontier Seeker and Gem Lightfoot. Holy cow. I don't, I don't think I'm supposed to play this Gem Lightfoot. Oh, man. Look at all these white cards here now. All right. This is interesting. Really, really interesting. Can I play Mourner Surprise with no targets? Yeah, return up to one. Okay, so let's just... I don't know. Let's figure out our deck here. Shoot the Sheriff, double Mourner Surprise. Don't need Neutralize the Guard. Detention Sphere, maybe like two planes for these two white cards. We don't have a ton of card draw. I don't see myself casting multiple spells often, so I'll cut the Razzle Dazzler. Seven, eight, nine spells. Can certainly cut, and then we can probably cut like maybe both of these cards. Where does that put us? I, I do like Slickshot Vault Buster. It feels like this deck is capable of committing lots and lots of crimes. How good is the Geyser Trick? Look, it's a 3-mana 2-3 flyer that makes like Shoot the Sheriffs cost 1 mana. And <laughs> actually, that's kind of it. That is kind of it. And I guess uh, it makes Brazen Borrower also cost 1 mana. But it's not as good in this deck as you would like in general. But look, it's still a 3-mana card. It's a 2-3 it's evasive. I think it's still a fine card to play. And yeah, this is just kind of a, a just a blue black, a decent blue black control deck. Let's see if I'm missing out on anything big. You know, we missed out on some stuff just because um, we took a bunch of these green cards. But look, I mean, we're blue black splashing detention sphere and fractured identity. That seems really, really sweet. The only thing that I'm considering here is whether or not I should splash for this gem Lightfoot. I'm leaning towards no. I'm leaning towards no. Just because I just don't want to stretch my mana that much. Like this deck doesn't really draw that many cards, right? Uh, we have a couple of loan sharks, but like, you know, this deck's just... So... This card I feel like is better when you can run it out kind of early-ish. And whereas like a card like the Tension Sphere of Fractured Identity is always good. And I feel like I have enough power here. So I'm going to not splash the Gem Lightfoot and uh, try this. 
But this is an exciting deck. It was uh, started out a bit of a... It started out weird because we took a bunch of green cards. Then like in the last pack, we saw a bunch of white cards. I, I just don't... I just have no idea where we were supposed to be. But ultimately, I'm reasonably happy with this deck. A little light on cheap things to do though. We'll keep this hand. Certainly could use a land here. Brazen Borrower, two lands, Slick Shot, Vault Buster, Slick Shot, Lock Picker, Shoot the Sheriff, Rictus Robber. Hard Bristle Bandit. That is an outlaw. Hmm. What do I want to do? I, I think I might want to just play Take the Fall. Although kind of bouncing it also seems interesting. But if I don't draw... Well, the, th the problem is if I bounce this and I don't draw a land, it's really bad. So let's just do this. Just so I can just guarantee that I can find a land. And then... Okay. And then let's go ahead and plot the Rictus Robber. And if they play a creature... God, I hate these lands. If they play a creature I can shoot the Sheriff with, that's going to be awesome, right? Because I can play Rictus Robber and then get a 2-2. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I'm not going to get greedy here. Let's shoot the sheriff. Let's play Rictus Robber. Oh, yeah. This card is good, right? Why Why are people passing this? That's just, that's my question. I just, like, for three mana, I got a 4-3 and a 2-2. Two, two. It's great. All the bandits. All, literally all the bandits. I don't think I need to bounce anything with the Brazen Borrower. Let's attack. They're probably going to take it. And let's plot the Lone Shark. Oh, I did not expect that. Oh, that's okay. All right. Calamity is a beating. Wow, plus throw from the saddle, and then, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, the other line here was to play Geyser Drake and leave up mana, but, I mean, okay. Well, at least we don't take a ton of damage. Wow. What a beating of a turn, though. Detention Sphere. Can't play that. All right. Let's play Geyser Drake. Into Lone Shark. Draw a card. All right. Let's attack. And we do have Brazen Borrower, and we're certainly going to use it here. Let's see if they saddle. Let's go to combat. All right. All right, land here. Land here would be great. No. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, that's brutal. Um, that's a 4-6? I mean, I can just block it, I guess. All right. We'll just keep all the creatures back here. Play around shenanigans. This is such a beating, though, if they have something. The thing is, I can just take four, honestly. Like, I can just block all the other stuff, right? So it's not a big deal. Yeah. All right. Fractured Identity is also really interesting, but yeah, let's go ahead and play the Slick Shot Lock Picker. Let's kill Calamity. 
And let us attack. Actually, I'm going to keep this one back. Play a little bit defensively here if we can help it. All right. They had lots of ramp, and, but Calamity is all that they had. So kind of an unlucky hand for them. Just like anything big there would have been pretty bad for us. Had uh, two of our white cards, and that's kind of why we're not playing the gem Lightfoot as well. Um, just our mana fixing simply just wasn't good enough to be able to support all the white cards. But uh, yeah, deck seems very sweet though. Okay, we are on the play. We drew the planes. I think I'm still going to keep this. Would love to draw a swamp immediately for Servant of the Stinger. Please deck, one time. No swamp, unlucky. But we do have Geyser Drake here. A pair of Geyser Drakes, even. Okay. Our deck's taunting us with that Mirage Mesa. But look, I can't complain, right? Like, I have my Geyser Drake. I'll play another one. And then I got this Mirage Mesa. So, playing the blue-black control mirror, maybe. We'll see. I, I, I'm not sure how good the Raven is. What are your thoughts on the Raven? It's not a good body, but... The dr I mean, turn two, it's good. Shoot the sheriff. Okay, well, you when you do that, certainly good. All right, play another Geyser Drake, and then play this for black mana. You know, I bet a Rictress Robber, in a lot of instances, it's the type of card... It's the type of card that's actually better to just play instead of plot if you don't have removal. Because your opponents will just trade with you in combat and then you just run this out and you get a ton of value. Ooh, double Raven. Interesting. Three cards in hand. Um... Yeah, I think I'm just plotting here. And I'm going to keep this back right now. Like, if they kill the Geyser Drake, it's so bad for us. Oh my gosh, they get double drain here too. Yeah. If they kill this, it's really bad for us. Okay. Wow, look, they're going off. Silver Deputies and Corrupted Convictions. Lush Oasis. Oh my gosh. They are really trying to go off here. Um, let's play Servant of the Stinger. And then draw a card here. See what we find. Ooh, a Black Source. Still no opportunity at a great attack. So I'm going to plot this Lone Shark as well. And pass. Could use a nice removal spell here. We can start attacking with the Lone Shark. Warner Surprise. <laughs> just a nice little combo deck here. They're just going to get all the... How many deserts do you have? Please don't have any more. Oh my gosh, they have another desert. Okay. Is this the archetype? Is this the archetype? All right. Well, I think I just need to play Rictus Robber here. And then we play a Lone Shark to draw a card. And I'm going to plot this. But no spells. Oh, wow. This Raven has done like 12 damage to us. Three, four, yeah, three, six. It's still, it's still nine damage to us. That's kind of ridiculous. Oh, I can search for something. OK. 
Okay. If you've committed a crime this turn, you may sacrifice Servant of the Stinger. What do I want? Oh, what about Detention Sphere? Is that interesting? No, Fractured Identity is better because I can cast it again. All right. And... <laughs> I don't know. Look, I don't know if it's correct or not, but it seems cool. Right? We killed one and then we get to... Oh, yeah. All right. They ran out of gas. This whole, like, chain of raven into deserts plan didn't quite get it f f for them. But um, get being able to... Uh, oh, that two mana one three guy is so nice. Look, two mana one three death touch creature, you're just playing all day every day, right? It just bricks every cheap creature. And then in the late game, like, you find a way to commit a crime and you have a bomb in your deck. Boom, right? All of a sudden, it's like fractured identity plus the two slick shot lock pickers. That is a very, very large game. All right, on the play here, four lands, Tyrant Scorn, Geyser Drake, and Fractured Identity. If we draw one of our four white sources, we'll be able to cast the Fractured Identity. This card is awesome. Very awesome. <laughs> What's the best one? It's got to be Oko, right? Here's the thing. Do I care about this card? Sure, I guess. If they get it back, it'll be kind of annoying. But Wow, they kept the one lander? All right, we'll play Geyser Drake. This card is awesome. Inspire, oh, I was like, why didn't this come into play tapped? All right, everybody is just on the Raven deck. Yeah, this card is really sweet. I get a clue here too? Just a perfect control card. We we can get it back here with the Mortar of Surprise. And it just hits kind of hard too. Just kind of does everything. All right, so they're going to sack the Raven. Or they might sack... Oh, it's another creature. All right. It destroys though. What? Okay. I mean, they're going to block. But that's fine. Because then, now we get to play Rictus Robber and make a 2-2. Yeah, Rictus Robber. Ugh. I love it. Do you like 4-mana 6-5s? Did they plot something? Oh, shoot. They have, they have their own Rictus Robber. Okay. So they're going to kill something and then play this. Our opponent's very smart. They're playing Rictus Robber in their deck. Huh. So they're going to kill this Rictus Robber and play their own. That's kind of brutal. In which case, I'm going to draw a land. Or I don't know if I'm going to draw a land. I want to play a card, rather. Yep, yeah, I'll play Vadmir. They might kill the Vadmir. I mean, I don't care if they kill the Vadmir. One thing this doesn't work with is the four mana common exile removal spell.
But I mean, yeah, if they have a removal spell, they absolutely are going to cast it here. Sure. Yep. Yep. Rictus Rubber. Don't kill this Rictus Rubber. That's all I that's all I ask. Mourner's okay. So we're just doing the same thing. Both sides are just doing the same thing. So we can do this, play another Rictus Robber. Wow. All right. Um, I think I'm going to get back the Hostile Investigator or whatever. Hostile, hostile Investigator, yeah. And then we'll go ahead and plot this. This gives us a way to either cast Mourner Surprise again if they kill something, or we can use Tyrant Scorn to also kill something. They do have Ruthless Lawbringer, so I imagine they're going to use that. Play that. How many colors are you playing, friend? Oh, no, never mind. They're Black Red Splash this. Okay, that's not too bad. So they'll play this, sack the 1-1, one, one, kill my Rictus Robber. A lot of back and forth here, but it's going to be really, really hard to grind through the Hostile Investigator. So that's kind of my primary game plan here. It's just like, all right, you kill my thing. I get the Investigator back. I cast it again. And then what are you going to do, right? I mean, they're at eight life. There's just a very solid chance that I'm going to be able to just trade something with the Rictus Robber and play another one. Uh, if I draw a land and they play something small, like I can go Slickshot Lockpicker, Tyrant Score a creature, and then play Rictus Robber, which is also really good. Plot Highway... Yeah, this is not good. This is just not good. All right. They are asking. They're asking for it. Wait, don't they have this in their hand? <laughs> okay. I don't know why. They should have played the Lawbringer. All right. Should probably tap a mana. Oh no, okay. <laughs> they should have sacked their land. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Rictus Robber and R Mythics apparently are good. So, okay. Is this going to be what it takes for us to actually uh, do well in draft? I'm in for it. I am in for it. We just need Fractured Identity. Look, all we need is Detention Sphere, Fractured Identity, Hostile Investigator, and we just need like five rares. That's it. That's all you need. That's the formula. Take notes. Alrighty. 3-0. And, oh, and what do we have here? Another fantastic hand, if I do say so myself. Uh, Servant of the Stinger. Super nice turn two. We have very few two drops, so happy about that. Definitely going to play the Mesa here on white because we just have lots of islands in our deck. And we have lots of black cards, so we can just play our black cards. Uh, and then, you know, eventually we're going to draw our blue source. Seems like blue-black is a very um, popular color combination. Is this... Do I co commit a crime here? I do. I could get an island. Is that crazy? Like turn four, play this, and then get an island? I wonder if, like, if I'm blue-black deserts or blue-black crime, if I, am I supposed to just take the deserts higher? We drew a plains. That's sad. All right. 
the nice thing about our deck is that it is pretty good at playing kind of a late, uh, a long game. So I'm not too concerned here. Is this a Lone Shark? It is a Lone Shark. Okay. Um... I do think I want to get an island. I do. I just feel like if I fractured identity something next turn, it's just going to be so, so good. And I have just all blue cards in my hand. Uh, unless there's something like way, way better to get. No, I'm just going to get Island. It's just the card I want the most by far. They're going to double spell this turn. Spring Slasher into Lone Shark. Spring Splasher, rather. And Desperate Bloods. Yeah, their, their deck is great at committing crime. Targeting us, okay. Well, I don't want those lands anyways. Don't really want a Fractured Identity, the Lone Shark, right? I'll trade with the Lone Shark. If I trade with the Lone Shark, Rictus Robber gets to go off. Interesting. I did not expect that. I am not going to lie to you. Um, hmm. Lots of options here. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked. Was that too aggressive? Could have been. Three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Well, yeah, maybe that was too aggressive, especially because they have a life linker. Although they have this, so I can't really block that well, anyways. It's okay. Next turn, we'll be able to do some things. This card, two cards. What the heck? Oh, I get to investigate. <laughs> All righty. What do I want to do? Let's attack. Play Mourner Surprise and get back. Hmm. Yeah, let's get, hmm. Let's get back to Drake. Let's play this. And let's play this. A lot of good creatures in play. Let's see what they have for their last two remaining cards. Sure. It's possible I should just not be attacking with the Hostile Investigator and just play a more, yeah, just play like a slower game here. Yeah, I probably should have. All right, all right, all right. Let's let's uh let's lock it up here. Let's uh clean things up, shall we? I'm not attacking this turn, okay? I'm going to chill.
What the heck? You may plot non-land cards from the top of your library. When can they play this? Sorcery speed, right? Uh, yeah, I need to kill that. Let's chill. They're going to balance my 3-4 most likely. Oh, I guess they can cast it at any time. But it's at sorcery speed, so. I just want to add another thing to the battlefield here. Although, well, let's see. I'm at 8 life. No removal spell here. Actually, let's let's plot this. Let's plot both and just pass. All right, too much value. <laughs> too much value. Our opponent's deck was really good at committing crimes. But I didn't see that much. I, I didn't see all the the payoff cards for committing the crimes. Alrighty, we are on the play. I will keep this. We keep drawing the fractured identity. I like that. Although we need to find the white source, we can't cast it anytime soon. Play a land. Ooh, don't mind that. Raisin Borrower here is perfect. I can bounce their 2-drop and still have a 3-mana play, which is very nice. Especially against Red-White. Unlicensed Hearse. That's not a card you see that often. I'm still going to bounce it. Because so far, I just don't have any plays this turn, right? So it's just like, might as well. Like, I, I'm almost 100% go... Ooh, I almost played the Plains. But like I'm just going to play the Brazen Borrower, right? So might as well. Prickly pear. Hearse. Okay. Oh, this could be steer clear. Should be kind of annoying. Like, why why else would they do this? It just feels like a steer clear. Like, playing a turn three unlicensed hearse just seems so terrible. Like, unless you specifically have steer clear. Yeah. Okay, well, never mind. Oh, well. Man, unlicensed hearse is so good against Mourner Surprise. Oh my gosh. It's kind of ridiculous, actually. That is pretty ridiculous. I mean, I'm still going to play it. I'm not going to return it, though, because they have the hearse. And then I'm just going to play the Lone Shark. Yeah, I'm just doing this to draw a card with the Lone Shark. All right. What you got? I have shoot the sheriff, although I can't kill that. Do I have an outlaw? I do. I have a rogue. Ooh, okay. Can I kill this one? I can kill that one. Okay. Uh, let's see. What can I do? I can use Tyrant Scorn to kill the Sharpshooter, which I think I'm going to do.
And then I can pump the Lone Shark. Then I can attack. Then we'll uh, tap, play the Mirage Mesa for black mana. And yeah, all right, we're good. Yeah. This hearse, by the way, is absurd. Because not only do I have double Mourner Surprise, I do have double uh, the Slick Shot buy back a spell from the graveyard card. So yeah, it's, it's pretty annoying. I could Fractured Identity it. Seems kind of weak, though. All right, Stagecoach Security. I'm just going to shrink this to... Uh... Oh, it gives it Vigilance, too. Nice. Draw a card. I mean, honestly, uh, Fractured Identity on Stagecoach Security seems pretty good. Get a 4-5 off the battlefield. I mean, I'm happy trading. Am I happy trading Loan Shark for Hearst? Oh no, they can make it into a 5-5. Five five? Right, I believe. I'm happy with that, actually. Honestly. I'm happy trading Loan Shark for Unlicensed Hearst. I will present that trade. Otherwise, they have to take five. All right, so th they, they recognize that the hearse is also good. The thing is with the hearse, like it can be get gigantic, right? But I do have shoot the sheriff. And what kind of creature is this? It's just a vehicle. Okay. Main phase, holy cow. What is happening? Is this an upkeep, holy cow? Are they double spelling? Are they hitting me for five? There are lots of questions. Lots of questions. Uh, okay, so how do we want to do this? Actually, I don't really want to attack. <laughs> Not with three mana up. It just, like, main phase, holy cow, into, like, just pass with a bunch of mana up. I don't know. Like, I feel like I can play the long game here. Right? Like, my long game is just better than theirs for the most part. So I'm going to just play it patiently here. Play Slick Shot Vault Buster. I, I don't know if I have a loot effect. I don't know if I should play this land or not. The thing is, I could kill this. I'm kind of afraid of the plus one, plus one lifelink card, honestly. Oh, Detention Sphere, though. That is incredible. That's perfect. That's what I wanted. So now we can kill the hearse. All right, now we can probably attack. Like sure, they can have some combat tricks, but now we our mourner surprise has been turned on. What is this, a 3-3? Three, three? Okay. And 
And I will pass. So I have, so they, they have the mobile homestead, but it's just like, they have to crew in a, ta like they must have like a, maybe they have a sweeper or something. But I can double block here. I, I have no idea what was in their hand. <laughs> oh man. I do like this blue black deck though. It's got a lot of play to it, right? Good removal, good interaction. We are five and zero. It's the best we've done so far. We have yet to take a loss. Can we keep it going? I sure hope so. I sure hope so. All right, we're on the play with three. Le Ooh, turn two Vadmir potentially. Pot and by potentially, I mean definitely turn two Vadmir. Ooh, into shoot the sheriff? Don't mind if I do. Oh, I do like that. Yeah, we chilling. Next turn is going to be potentially awesome. Depending on what they do. If they kill the Vadmir, then it's not great. But we can still kill this Burrow Fiend and then play Rictus Robber to put a lot of pressure on the battlefield. It looks like they're going to fight. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's got a counter on it. Huh. Yeah, now I'm going to kill this. Rick this robber, get in there. This card feels like cheating. Mystical tether, sure. We still have something left over. Always great. What do we want here? Probably just a flyer. Could use a land. Oh, that card's fantastic. All right, they get their Burrow Fiend back and they have a 4-3 in play. God, our mana is just kind of messing with us, to be honest. Journey to Nowhere on Geyser Drake. You know, that's fine. They have a really good deck. I mean, we're 5-0, so it makes sense that we're running into some pretty great decks here. But we're going to be able to shoot the Sheriff, the Shepherd, into Rictus Robber, which is great. And we have a nice board and we have the slick shot lock picker. If we draw land number five, we can just play it and continue shooting sheriffs. Wow. They have so many enchantment based removal spells. <laughs> How are we at 12? And aloe alchemist. Wow. Okay. That was super good. I'm just going to throw that out there. Uh, when it becomes plot, okay. So this can be a 3-3, three, three, maybe a 4-4. Four, four. It doesn't trample. I don't even want to do that. I just want to lock picker and kill this. Because um, I just want to minimize the damage I take. They're, they don't have many cards left. And I can Warner Surprise. If I draw land, oh no, I don't have the, uh, never mind. I don't have the Rictus. Where are my Rictus? Where's my Rictus robber? Oh, they're they're both exiled. So 
So we got three cards in hand. Really, really good green-white deck. And we... And I can't even complain. Like, I've had a good draw as well, so... What do I want to draw? I mean... Not, not my white cards, I'll tell you that much. I don't know, our opponent like timed out or something. They've been taking a very long time. All right, they're back, I guess. All right, slick shot a Vault Buster. Let's do this for a white. I don't think at this point I want to get back Vadmir, so I don't think it matters that much. This thing is a Trampler, okay. Wait, they didn't block? Interesting. I guess I'll try to minimize the damage that I take. Why didn't they... It has flash, right? What the heck? Alrighty. Yeah. Wow. Their deck is awesome. Good job, OSU. Hmm. Does this thing trample? It does not. Well, that's precisely what I wanted, so that's great. So let's get back the lock picker. Let's cast the lock picker. Let's get shoot the sheriff. Let's kill the worm. I don't want to kill the cactorantula. Well, number one, it tramples. And um, number two, this draws them a card. Very close here, though. I am definitely behind, depending on what their last card is. Is this whenever anything dies? Okay. I mean, just attack with everything, right? All right, there are one Rictus Robber. Let's cast it. Okay, they get a desert. We go to four. But we have two tokens here. Yeah, I'm really surprised they didn't play the Rattleworm to block. That might end up costing them. All right, we're at four. I mean, we can still die here somehow. But they're at one and we have four creatures. Okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, if there's a trampley spell, I guess we die, right? Woo! I am surprised we got that one. I am surprised we got that one. But I am happy. We got so much value from our graveyard, right? Buying back those shoot the sheriffs with the slick shot lock picker. I mean, that's why you play that card. Not as good in that blue-white deck that we drafted the other day, but in blue-black or blue-red specifically, where you have a lot more removal spells, that card is fantastic to go along with the, um, the Rictus card. Plotting seems awesome. I have yet to run against run into like just a super oppressively good, fast, aggressive deck. There's not as many good one-drops. There's a one-two hasting... There's a one-two hasting creature, right? The pirate... But there's not like there's no novice inspector type card in the set, and um, so it makes me feel good. It makes me feel good. I just feel like uh, that means that this format feels a touch slower, and you can do a lot of the cool stuff. The last set you couldn't necessarily do all the cool stuff. All right, here we go. Mirage Mesa here. There's a hostile investigator, but I feel like I it's more important to get the white here 
because we have a lot more black sources. So I think here I'm still going to name white. Because if I draw land number four, if I don't play Hostile Investigator, I can still play Lone Shark, right? And we drew the Swamp right away, so Lucky Cheon, as they say. Nobody says that anymore. Turn two, a Hard Bristle Bandit. Great, great card. Let's play the Drake. And then now, next turn, we can just play the Investigator. Just so we don't get run over. It's also just a great, great threat. I just want them to use their combat trick. <laughs> like the Geyser Drake just doesn't do much for me and Sure. Good for you. Ooh, Rise of the Varmints. It's cool that there's one in the graveyard, but it's not cool because they might have another one. <laughs> Cactorantula. That is a good card. They're going to draw a card, but I think it's still worth. Like, I still just get a Cactorantula here. And if they kill it, then I get to draw a card too, right? So... Nothing to get back with Mourner Surprise. That's especially good here. Might just set up a Lone Shark turn. We'll see. Okay. Uh, sure. They should have tapped that for mana. Well, now we have a good card to get back with Mourner Surprise. Voracious Varmint. You're going to kill my treasure? Nope. I'm going to attack. Just get all the value. This card, another card, please. All right, we will gladly take another treasure. All right, there are 10. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> boom. Was that for the trophy or do we have one more? That might have been for the trophy, but I want to play more. I want to play more. There we go. I, you know, I had a good feeling, right? I had a good feeling. I thought, you know what? We're slowly getting better, 3-3, three, 3-3, three, 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 three. It's about time that we get a trophy. And we did, and we did. And despite the weird start, right, where we had clear shot, throw from the shadow, we took an armadillo in pack three, back for more. We were trying to kind of find our lane, but ultimately we just, you know, started with the Vad uh, Vadmir. We got the Fractured Identity on the splash. We got a bunch of Rictus Robbers. This card is just incredible. I would... I would bet that this ends up being one of the better uncommons in the set. I mean, it's just so good. Creatures trade in combat, right? It just naturally happens. You play a three drop, you attack, trade, boom. Turn a four, four, three, make a two, two. I mean, we know that any creature that makes a body is already good. And just the amount of stats that you get is kind of absurd. And the fact that you can even set this up for three mana to get, right? Let's say you set this up for three mana. You play this on turn three, turn four, you use a removal spell, you like double spell or use a removal spell, then you play this. It's just completely ridiculous. So the fact that we had triple Rictus Robber, double Slickshot Lockpicker, these, cre uh, these cards just went a really, really long way to make sure that our deck was successful, right? And then we just had filler cards. The Hostile Investigator also, this thing is just a walking three for one. It's a four mana, four, three. They, they discard, you draw a card, and it, like, it's just so ridiculous, right? I mean, this card, and if you ever get it back, I mean, that's it, game over. So much value. And we were really able to leverage um, our graveyard a lot. 
with the double lock picker and the mortar surprise. The unlicensed hearse actually ended up being a really annoying card, but we had great removal. We had fractured identity, detention sphere, double shoot the sheriff, and tyrant scorn as ways to interact with what our opponents were trying to do. Vadmir didn't really get to do too much. Uh, our deck is not like a turbo commit a crime deck. This the four counters on this thing is kind of like flavor text. I don't think it happens that often. But the fact that you just have a two mana two two that naturally grows over the course of the game every time you anytime you use a removal spell is just really good, right? So I don't think this card is a slam dunk first pick, but it's like a B level card. I think it's solid for sure. The servant of the stinger also was great. The fact that this is just a great body early that allows you to tutor in the late game to get whatever bomb that you have is also real was also really really strong. So, I mean, we just had a deck that was chock full of like awesome uncommons. And then we had Brazen Borrower, Fractured Identity, Detention Sphere. I mean, look at this. Look at how many, Look at how many like from the vault cards we had, right? And big score cards and uh and whatever. Like we just had so many of these bonus sheet cards that were all incredible for us. And then we also had the right mana fixing to be able to play the card. So this was a super smooth, super smooth deck. When you look at this deck initially, you might think, hey, I only have two twos and two shoot the sheriffs and a tyrant scorn. Is that enough? It felt like enough. It felt like enough. Um, it certainly could have maybe used another two mana card, a uh, phantom interference maybe, but ultimately uh, I was really, really happy with how this deck played out. And I thought this deck was just great. Rick this robber. Take this card very highly. And now we have our first trophy. Thank you, Fractured Identity. First trophy in this format. Feels great. Uh, let's take a look at what that put us in terms of the rank because it's kind of bugged right now. We're now plat two. We are climbing, climbing, climbing. I'm going to draft so much. I'm going to try my best to get to Mythic as quickly as possible. But we climbed the rank. We're now Platinum 2 with our trophy 7-0 with... Dem uh, Esper control. Love it. Absolutely love it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Feel free to hit the like or subscribe button for more daily videos just like this. If you've enjoyed this content and wanted to support the channel in another way, I did launch my Patreon channel. Shout out to all the current patrons. Really appreciate all the support that you provide as it allows me to continue making this content. Again, the link to the Patreon is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you tomorrow.